pumpkin beauty with creamy roasted garlic walnut sauce. That's a butternut squash. That's a kabocha squash. Look at the color of that versus the color of this. The taste and texture of this is going to blow this away. Of course, the seeds are coming out. Salt and olive oil. Face side down in the oven to roast. It's not that I don't love butternut squash. I do. I love butternut squash. And to show you how much, I'm going to roast some of that too. Water is the enemy in this dish. And by roasting our vegetables, we start removing water immediately. And if your oven has a convection feature, this is the time to use it. Not only does it cook faster, but it takes the water out as it cooks. Later, that sauce is going to need some roasted garlic. So it's going to hitch a ride with that kabocha. The inside of these dumplings is squash and ricotta. And this is good ricotta, don't get me wrong, but there's still too much moisture in there. And since moisture is the enemy of this recipe, we're going to let this drain while that squash roasts. Look at all that excess moisture. Moisture is the enemy of this dish, but this ricotta is already impastata. That texture is beautiful. Look at the texture of the butternut. It's good, but nothing like the texture of kabocha squash. Look at how much drier it is than the butternut. That's why I'm using kabocha. These nuria two to one ricotta impastata to pumpkin. Freshly grated nutmeg. See, it's pumpkin spice. An ounce of Parmigiano Reggiano. Of course, it's freshly grated, don't even ask. One egg. Slightly beaten, of course. Fold that together. And to this whole batch, only 100 grams of semolina. You could use all purpose flour, but then you'd have to use a little more. Everything depends on that water content. These are going to be delicate. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'm using an ice cream scooper, but you could use a spoon if that's all you got. Onto a sheet tray, a little semolina down on the bottom. Scoop that nudie a little more on top. That's going to help form that skin overnight. That's the last of the semolina. These are going in the fridge overnight. As this is a pumpkin dish, we're going to garnish with sage, but not just regular sage. I have pineapple sage here, which is more delicate. And as the name suggests, heh, it tastes like pineapple. And sure, I could just fry it, but I could also use a little sourdough discard and cold seltzer water, making a quick tempura batter. Now we're really making this special. This is a walnut sauce and we got to toast them but I'm going to increase the surface area first. Walnuts are good. Toasted walnuts, even better. When using tempura batter, get your oil over 350. All right, close enough. This is the way to do fried sage. That's going to be delicate and perfect. Onto a paper towel to drain and hit them with a little salt right away. Now I'm really smelling those walnuts. And see, they're looking a little shiny. Perfect. We're going for the texture that only a Vitamix can provide. But that's going to tighten up quicker than the expressway during rush hour if you do it dry. Those naked ravioli set up so beautiful overnight, you can actually handle them. But still be delicate. Not super boiling water. Let them drop to the bottom and leave them alone for a second. Just give them a little waft and they'll eventually come to the surface. And that rich nudie water, you want that. Nudie water and roasted garlic. Roasted garlic and walnuts, amazing together. That's a rich, flavorful paste. That paste is a concentrate. You just used a little bit and more of that nudie water. We're making a rich bath for those nudie. There they are, directly into that sauce. Delicate 
naked ravioli. Basted with walnut sauce. And that is delicate nudie with walnut sauce. But give them a little extra sauce, will ya? And for me, salty pecorino instead of palm. And to really f with them, a little maple syrup at the end. That's why you fried that sage, remember? It's not the most beautiful dish in the world, is it? But, <laughs> mm. Mm, man, it's a heavenly little pumpkin pillow. So good. You really get that yummy roast pumpkin flavor. Oh, the ricotta cheese and the walnut, creamy walnut and garlic. Oh, the best pot. Oh yeah, that's a good way to kick off pumpkin spice season. These aren't gonna replace ravioli, but this is the way I wanna eat pumpkin spice. Oh, that is divine. This is the kind of pumpkin spice I want to eat, too.